because he loves Trump. He loves Trump. He's been a longtime friend of mine, so we played a lot of golf together over the years. He's invited me uh, many times to some of his great golf resorts, and uh, we've had a lot of fun together. So we'll see what turns out of him as a politician, but he's certainly a great friend, and uh, nobody supports their friends like Tom Brady or Donald Trump. Greg Hardy's comment on your wife, did that, how did you re react to that? Well, it's like I said, it's about being a professional. And, you know, don't crack under pressure means a lot of things. It means uh, certainly on the field, you know, there's a lot of pressurized moments. There's a lot of moments where you've got to make the critical play. You've got to do the right thing at the right time. And I've had a lot of experience over the course of my life on and off the field where, you know, those experiences are the most challenging shape who you are and they shape what you're all about. And they, the people around you know that they can count on you and they believe in you. And I think that's what I've always wanted to be to my teammates, someone that when they look in my eyes at the critical moments, they know that they can believe in me and they know that I can get the job done. And just back to the Greg Hardy, were you offended by that? No, I mean, I've, I've been around for a long time. I've seen it all. I've, you know, he's not the first person to make, you know, comments, uh, you know, that aren't really in, have anything to do with the game. So I put him aside and I go about my business. And, you know, if you waste your time and energy on things that don't matter and the outcome of the game, then, you know, when you get to the game, you know, you're not going to give your teammates the best that you got to offer. So that's what my focus has been on. I try to be the best I could be every week.